you believe there's only 21 days left to Christmas? Oh my goodness, where does the time go? So I did find my very tall notepad for $2.99 from TJ Maxx. You guys remember that I lost it? Well, I actually left it in the car. So here it is. And I think it's so beautiful, so classy and elegant. And I have written down what I have in store for today. My to-do list, you know, the driving, going shopping, and all the things that have to be done today. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, friends. Can you see me? I'm carrying this big old pumpkin. The last of fall going out of my place. So I am gonna go shopping today. I'm going to be looking for some treats, maybe a little bit of decor, something for my hot cocoa bar or a coffee station, whatever it is that I wanna make. And I'm gonna look for some goodies. So let's get to shopping. So today's video is gonna be about shopping, a haul and decorating my cocoa coffee slash whatever snack bar you wanna call it. But look at Marshall's. They had these beauties. I wanted these cutie pies. They're so cutesy cutesy. I didn't pick them up because I have been spending quite a bit of a pretty penny there. So I had to cool it. But look at these salt and pepper shakers. I don't think I'm sure they're not $17. I think they misprinted that label or something. <laughs> Get out of here, fall decor. You don't fit in here. What? <laughs> Look at these gingy measuring cups. How beautiful. So cutesy, cutesy, and adorbs. And then they have these little sprinkles. Marshall's really has the cutest things right now. Look at this cookie jar. So adorbs as well. I don't know what's up with Marshall's. But there's some items that did not have prices, like that little mug set. Now these are $14.99, these are the Peanuts Snoopy mugs and also the Grinch, it's popping up everywhere. Where were they when I needed them last year? Because <laughs> I decorated Grinch last year. If you guys haven't checked it out, I will link it below. But they are so cute. I really love this one. Very classy and elegant and you know Spode is always very expensive. So 15 bucks was not too bad. But again, I couldn't spend any money, so I just wanted to share some of these things with you. These are little tea sets here that you could give as gifts, or you could use them on your tea timetable or setting or tea bar, whatever it is. And look at all these mugs. And speaking of teapot set, here, look at this. This is a great little gift you can give to someone. It already has a tag and everything. $12.99 for this is not a bad deal. It is so adorable. I wanted to pick it up. I want everything, friends. But I have so much already that I can't even fit it in my spaces. So I will not be getting a lot right now anymore. But I don't know. Never say never though, right? So anyway, they had these little measuring spoons and this beautiful cookie jar. So cutesy cutesy as well. I loved it. He's so adorable. Gingerbread houses are so, so very hot commodity right now. And Marshall's has them. $25 though, I thought was a bit much. I do love Rudolph. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. I wanted to get it, but it's so chunky. It's like such a big piece and it's $30. So they did have these mixing bowls for $14.99, which I thought wasn't too bad of a deal. I really love this neutral one. It's gorgeous. And of course, if you want to have some cupcakes in your hot cocoa bar or your coffee bar, you can always, you know, grab a couple of cupcake liners. But also this mixing bowl is really, really tempting me. I didn't pick it up though, but who knows later on. A balanced diet is a Christmas cookie in a chand. That's right. So today we're going to bake cookies too, believe it or not. So I'm going to be cooking with my son, one of my younger son. And this is going to be at the end of the video. So if you're not into baking, you could watch the shop with me, the haul, the actual decorate with me. And then we'll get to the baking. But look at this Santa. I thought he was rather pricey though, $40. I think I'd rather just maybe DIY some candy chocolates and put them on a Santa of my own. And look, they have treats for your pets too. Don't forget about your fur babies. Now these are from Ross now. I am at Ross and I was looking for more budget friendly uh, hot cocoa bar items. But these mugs are the same price as Marshall's. And so I thought that was a really good deal. And I thought they were cuter. 
So Ross really has it. it. They got it going on. Look at these. Jesus is the reason for the season. I wanted to get these, but this is not my color, so I had to leave it. Same thing as these. I'm a Grinch before my coffee. That's me. <laughs> Actually, before breakfast. And friends, did you know that today is National Cookie Day? That's right. So if you're not into baking, you can actually buy some cookies. They have tons galore here at Ross and they're super affordable. The variety is beautiful. I love them. And they do have like if you're not into all the colors, they have a lot of neutrals, which is what I like to use sometimes for my more glam elegant videos. But today we're going to use a lot of cute, fun and whimsy. So these are very affordable. Look look at these look very yummy delicious now you can also buy a box of these and take them whether it be a christmas party or some you know if you're going to a special uh, birthday or what have you in december you can always take one of these if you're celebrating out with friends or just give it as a simple hostess gift that would be great as well or just for yourself which is what i'm looking for and look at the gingerbread house kits how beautiful they're so cutesy cutesy i don't think i'll be making a gingerbread house this year i'm not sure and look at this 2.99 this is a great gift for those teachers or maybe the mailman or the post office guy or you know amazon guy whoever it is you know those are great even for little neighbors or what have you and they're so super affordable here's some more gingerbread kids these are so very pretty and they do have puzzles so you can also challenge your mind what <laughs> mm -hmm. so that was a great thing that has nothing to do with cookies but you could sit down with cookies and make a puzzle look Roz has the most beautiful pieces i just can't buy chunky pieces anymore and remember santa claus loves cookies so make sure you save one for him i also stopped over at vons and i was perusing over their plethora of beautiful good good delicious yummy looking cookies look at these 549 or something like that i almost wanted to buy these and not bake today <laughs> <laughs> to be honest these are my kids favorites well at least one of them but i wanted to cook with the younger one because he was going to be home with me today a little bit longer he went on a late shift to work and he didn't have school so i thought it would be perfect for us to bake and it is national cookie day so i wanted to do something special and unfortunately my other sons were not here but it is what it is sometimes you have to do you know make some time with whoever's there but anyway we did enjoy ourselves quite a bit as you'll see in our baking part oh my goodness it was hilarious we had a lot of fun anywho so we are moving on to the hall holiday time measuring cup set these are from walmart i do not remember how much they were but i'm pretty sure they were pretty affordable I love that this has a one-third of a cup. I can never find a one-third of a cup for some reason. I don't know what it is about that me measurement, but look at this mug. Baking Spirits Bright. This is from Dollar Tree. I did pick up four, but I'm only using one for today's video. They are so super cute. And look at this sign. My kids are my cookie tasters. That's right, $7.99. But of course, I didn't pay for that. I think it was on clearance. Not clearance. It was on half off. And then I got these little measuring spoons just today. And they're chipped though at the side uh, um, there on the left of the screen on their heads. But they did give me a $2 discount. So I ended up paying $8 for them instead of $10. But I almost kind of regret it. I wanted to look for the new ones, but that weren't scratched. But what if I don't find them? And look, cookies for Santa. I got this last year. This is a Ray Dunn. It's gorgeous it was twenty dollars i haven't seen them this year i don't know what's up with that but anyway i'm using this little dish towel from dollar tree because i just couldn't find my gingy ones to be honest and speaking of gingy look at this gorgeous baking bakeware here this was from walmart i can't recall how much it was friends i'm sorry walmart's not good at plastering their labels on here for prices but i i think it was like 10 or 15 dollars i i can't remember but anyway, this is so hot commodity items that you guys probably already know the prices. But anyway, look at this cutie pie 
from Walmart as well. I believe he was only $10, I want to say. Maybe 12 something. I don't know. But it was super affordable. And look how gorgeous he is. I did love one that I saw at Ross. But it was too, like, really humongous so i couldn't buy it but look at these candy canes five cents sign these are from ross very hot commodity as well 4.99 now this is the first item that i bought this year this was from the at home store 11.99 how gorgeous is that so cutesy cutesy and also i bought these cup of cheer little espresso mugs for 6.99 these were from burlington and i believe they had bigger ones and I didn't know that these are actually ornament friends. <laughs> I didn't really read it, but they're ornaments. That's right. If you want to hang them on a big tree or on a kitchen a tree, if you decorate with the tree in your kitchen. My kitchen is small, so I really don't do a tree here. But if I did, I would probably use those. But I'm going to use them as cute decor. And look at this platter as well from, I think this from Marshall's. Here we go. Marshall's $12.99. And it is so beautiful. I bought it as soon as I saw it, as soon as it came out. And now they're nowhere to be found. But they are so very pretty. I didn't end up using the Santa Claus. This was $4.99 from Goodwill. But I just wanted to share with you so that you could see that you can also find affordable deals that are gorgeous like this one here. This beautiful teapot that you could use on your tea set or your tablescape or your tea for two or what have you. And then I also picked up this $4.99 hot chocolate Belgian style. And I really love the white chocolate. It's my favorite. And look at these little drink stirrers, $2.99 from Ross. I love the way they give you ideas here on the packages, so kudos to them. There's 25 in a pack, so I thought that was a great deal. And also from Dollar Tree, I got these chocolate spoons, $1.29. What's up with that? Did Dollar Tree go up to $1.29 now? No, I didn't get the memo. If you guys know, let me know down below because I thought everything was $1.25 still. I don't know, but in either case, it is what it is. I'm not going to fight over pennies, although I am a penny pincher. But anyway, so look at these. How gorgeous they're going to look together. So cutesy cutesy. So let's get to decorating finally. So... I wanted to make this gingy bakeware stand up, but it was kind of on a slope on the side, so it wasn't standing up, which is, I was highly disappointed about that. But in either case, I put the gingy cookie jar in on the side of it and the cookies for Santa Ray Dunn cookie jar as well on the other side. And I think that did the trick. So I like to use a little bit of height, so I use this, this little cake stand as a riser. And I place my towel here only because I have a secret to tell you. There's a little scratch underneath and it doesn't look very pretty. So I always use dish towels to put them in there to hide that little scratch. So now you know, that's why my towel is always in the same spot. But anyway, those are YouTube tips, by the way, now. So I do have these gingerbread cookies from TJ Maxx, $5.99. I have to admit, my kids do know that these are expired and they're not to be eaten. They're just for my video. Everything else is current, though, and we're eating it all. So these were $3.19, these beautiful gingy cookies, and those were from Big Lots. I believe they have them in another store. I can't recall where. But let's put some faux candy canes in there because I really don't like to buy a lot of real candy canes. I find that nobody really eats them, so it's like a waste of money. So now I put those little stairs in there. They look so very cute and fun and whimsical. Aren't these so cute and adorable? These little gingy cookies have like some icing on top. And I was trying to make them fit in the espresso mugs, but it wasn't fitting. They were sinking in. So I used some of the M&Ms to actually prop them up and make them stand a little taller. I also placed the little espresso mugs on top of the measuring spoons or the measuring cups rather. And I think that did the job. And look at these little chocolate spoons. They fit perfectly in this little mugs. I put the stairs on there, although they look a little bit taller, but it's okay because I want them to be fun and whimsy. And then I was trying to put these cookies in there, but they weren't cooperating. So then I propped them up 
and it got the job done. I put that little butter spreader that comes with the platter of the gingy inside as well. Oh, and it, it just all looks so very festive and beautiful and it's so cutesy cutesy i just can't it's like oh my goodness this is so fun and whimsy i almost didn't even want to like eat anything off of here because it looks so pretty and so cute and so fun and these marshmallows are everything friends i can't believe that i found these at ross for just a few dollars oh my goodness you guys know that these are super pricey elsewhere so i was happy to find them they're so cute as well cutesy cutesy everything today i placed one there on the cake stand and also the mug hugger gingy cookie as well and i just think everything looks adorable So time to make our hot cup of cocoa or rather it's going to be a coffee slash hot cocoa what <laughs> white chocolate really so what I'm going to do is add some of the coffee and that my husband makes he makes a mean coffee let me tell you and then I'm going to use the tablespoon not all of it just a little sprinkle in there of the white chocolate I don't want to do it really really sweet also if you have cute measuring spoons like that one you can always use it as a regular spoon and of course you need a little bit of whipped cream and then i'm going to top it off with my favorite toppings which is this cute little marshmallow the gingy marshmallow the beautiful mug hugger cookie and a couple of the drink stirrers that are so very cute fun and whimsy <music> to mention about the lights but i'm sure you're noticing that they're flickering on and off and that's because my hubby was nice enough to put those lights underneath so that i can have a little bit of lighting it looks really beautiful here in the evening and i just love it and look at the gingy i found lots of gingies today i found gingy look how cute oh my goodness i almost want to name these gingies on the marshmallows how cute are they i don't want to eat it it's just so adorable <music> Look at all this friends it just makes me so happy and just because you have a small space doesn't mean you can't decorate so you just have to buy maybe smaller pieces and look you can also use things that are faux like these beautiful faux cookies i just love them they were just $2.99 from Hobby Lobby, but I got them at 50% off, so not a bad deal. And look at this little platter, Baking Spirits Bright. I'm finally placing these cookies that are kind of a chancla shape cookie. <laughs> you will see what happened in the baking part that's coming up soon. And all you need to do is light up a little holiday cheer candle, and you've got yourself a beautiful hot, hot cocoa or a slash coffee station. I don't keep my coffee maker up here. We actually keep it under the sink, believe it or not. It just takes up too much space, but I love all this area. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm just giving you a whole overview here but I wanted to give you a tip that you could do as well instead of spreading it all out like I did here with different heights and standing up the bakeware you could also use like different trays like you could use a square tray 
and a round tray that would also work to corral everything in and that would look just as beautiful i also like to use beautiful signs as background for my walls not all the walls but i have to give you a, a little heads up my hubby did end up hanging stuff and doing stuff that i probably wouldn't have done that way but it i love him dearly for it and you guys will get to see that in future videos but look at this gingy he's trying to survive there but sad to say he's going to be dead soon because i'm gonna drink him Mmm, yummo! Another tip for you, this is my realistic container where I keep my cookies instead of keeping them out because I don't like anything open. There, We do have like those banana fruit flies or whatever you call them and I don't like that. So I also love that this beautiful mug has a topper so I can always cover it while I'm drinking it. And now we're going to get to the hilarious fun baking part. Now this is not my recipe, I will link the recipe below. All purpose flour baking powder your salt your sugar softened room temp room temperature butter two eggs vanilla extract m&ms not the ones with the peanuts the milk chocolates only and this is about a 10 ounce bag oh and most importantly the grandma's molasses he cute she cute <laughs> give me the, the baking powder put it up here so this baking powder has this little line for you to measure if not you can always do it in Mexican style with the knife I mean to scrape off or to top off the flour that's the baking powder does it, does it say it requires for you to taste one yes it requires does. for me to taste one too mmm they're good I want another. It's not old and expired, Michael. It's fine. It's the Holly and and Moss set of two nonstick cookie sheets. Where the size is 17 by 12 and something. It's uh, $9.99 from La Rose. Flour, baking powder, and salt. Flour, baking powder, and salt. Go for it. Sugar, the regular sugar, Re and the butter. Okay, so butter, regular sugar, and brown sugar. Adding the two eggs. Here you go. Give me the trash. I got that. I'm your assistant. And then add the vanilla extract. I made your vanilla extract in there. Excellent. You're gonna whisk it again, or the electric mixer. Mix it. Let me see. <laughs> the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A what? It looks like a what? It looks like a hairless dog. That does not look like a hairless dog, silly. So you put in your flour, you mix it more, and then your oats will be mixed and mix it again. You can't put all the dry, you cannot put all the dry, dry ingredients in there together because it's too much, too thick. So you gotta do them one at a time. Okay, <laughs> get grab it from the handle. Yeah, I got it everywhere. <laughs> it's stuck over there. Here, let's taste it. Give me some. Right? Make sure they're at milk chocolate and M&M's with no peanuts. Just milk chocolate, about a cup and a quarter. Thin. <laughs> right there, look, it's gonna spin. Oh, I can't control this. <laughs> Hold in your chips. Yes. Okay. What kind of cookies are you going to bake for the people you don't like? I bake onion and garlic. The what? Onion and garlic. Onion and garlic cookies? No, I don't think so. <laughs> see. Is it a requirement to taste the m Yes, 100%. Right, let's do it. Okay. Mmm. Wait, do it again. Wee! <laughs> so fold your cookie dough Merry in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, me. I want to record everything. I want to remember it all. We said, wait, are you going to get Alzheimer's? I said, no. So they packed this up really a lot in the package. I was like, oh, who's going to steal a cookie scooper? 
It's a Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. <laughs> well, that's what you get when you buy a spatula at Ross. <laughs> Ooh, that looks perfect. This one looks a little bit bloody. It's not Halloween, sweetie. <laughs> okay, screw the cookie scooper. Let's just do it this style. Let's do it Mexican style. We can do that. Okay, there's some small ones, some big ones, but they're gonna be good. Like your rolling technique. Roll, roll, roll your boat. We got some small ones, some big ones. Lucky number 13, 13 of them. And this is a happy face right here that I try to make. Not very artistic, but it is what it is. They're going in. It is a must to it is eat your cookie dough. <laughs> Hello, nice pants. They match your brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a must to lick the cookie bowl. Jesus Why God. are they so humongous? Yeah, be careful with your electric mixer because you're going to get it all over your walls. And the gingy. Gonna give me A for effort, right? Yes. Can't hear you. A plus. You're gonna give me an A plus, okay? They might be a little disfigured. Oh. <laughs> push these in, okay? I'm gonna push them in. Not too, not too much. They look disfigured, huh? Yeah. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. I know. Anyway, we put more. Shit off. You do the shit mistake. Oh. What did you say? So that's the American cookie. The American cookie full of diabetes. Okay. Come on. They're not bad. They're pretty good. Come on. Ooh, they look good. They smell good. Who cares if they look like old warache? <laughs> old sandal. <laughs> Oh, chanclas. Oh, these, this one looks like a chancla, I think. No, that one looks like a skeleton. <laughs> it's a work of art. Oh my goodness. What'd you say? They're so big. Oh my God. They're humongous. Oh my gosh. Chancla cookies. <laughs> How do we get these out? Oh my gosh. Mmm, yummo. Yummy. Okay, there he is. Go ahead. You're gonna use the scissors, silly? No. How is it? So good. I'm gonna eat my chunkla cookie. Gotta warn you, we made chancla cookies. <laughs> what are you talking about, old geezer? A little piece. What's the verdict? Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. It's good. Good. Who wants charcuterie? Who wants charcuterie board? You want charcuterie? We don't have charcuterie, but we have advent calendar. You want advent calendar treat? Special treat? Are you looking? <laughs> Special treat. Look at here. Griffin's smelling it. Whoa. How about you, Feeny? You like it? You like it, girl? Over here, look. Whoa, she jumps high. You jumped high for it, huh? Wow. Look at that. Whoa, girl. Uh, no treats treats hey don't go on my couch you know that good doggies oh oh a special treat did you like it griffy are you enjoying it phoenix is out of here she's like i'm taking my treat 3.99 at la rose ross old mother hubbard is what these are called winter fun peanut ear peanut ear how cute the little puppy in there i think this puppy is cuter than you guys what do you think but we love you more so it's okay we love you more it's okay 
No more. All done. Look, it's got a bone in the back where you can see through the window. Old Mother Hubbard. Do you like the advent advent calendar? All done. Sorry. All done. Tomorrow you have more, okay? No more today. 